The average 70 year old is 72% wealthier than they were 40 years ago. The average person under the age of 40 is 24% less wealthy. And if you think, I believe that almost every major economic policy in the U.S. is nothing but a thinly veiled transfer of wealth from young to old, from the entrance to the incumbents. Two biggest tax deductions, capital gains and mortgage interest. Who owns stocks and homes? People my age. Who makes their money from current income and uh, rents? Young people. Social Security, which you're not supposed to talk about as uh, as this third rail, I see it as just a $1.4 trillion transfer of wealth from young people to the wealthiest generation in the history of the planet. I'm not suggesting Social Security is a bad idea, but let's call it senior security, um, because I think that type of transfer of wealth should be based on need, not on whether or not you have have a catheter. So I think it's outrageous what is going on. And what do you know? We have, oh, and then the ultimate intergenerational wealth transfer in the history of the planet was, I have an idea, under the auspices of a virus, let's, you know, a million people would be bad, dying would be bad, but what would be tragic is if boomers got less wealthy. Hmm. So let's come in and flood the market with five to seven trillion dollars in stimulus. 60 to 80 percent of it, depending on which survey you look at, was not spent. It was saved. It wasn't spent on food or medication. It was saved. People didn't need it. So what happened to that money? It went into the market. And you saw real estate prices go from an average of 290000 to 410 in the U.S. And then when you couple that with interest rates, the average mortgage has gone from 1100 to 2200 meaning that whereas two-thirds of Americans could have formed a home, now it's one-third. So if you owned a home, champagne and cocaine. Look at what's happened to the stock market. Look what's happened to the stock market. It's screamed, right? So it's great if you own stocks. So the entrants have essentially been screwed to keep the incumbents rich. And who's going to have to pay for the stimulus that benefits me? The entrants. It's debt. It's all been debt-fueled.